old bird's nest in his beard. <laughs> like, that's what it looked like. I'm sorry, Rich, wherever you are. But it, it looked that bad, in my opinion. Um, oh, speaking of the Fujin, camera is really high. You played Rich, and I think Fujin yeah. beat Rich. I feel like they're playing, and then, or are they not? I don't know. Are they playing? Yeah, we don't see we don't see them play. <laughs> oh, okay. Then <laughs> I was like, bro, I don't think we see him play. Uh, okay. Oh no, is that a seat? Uh, nice. Still can't see him play. It's all good. Yo, man, is that an Apple shirt? Does he work at the Apple store? Damn. He has all that tech. <laughs> he has all that. <laughs> there you go. And here we are. We're in his quarters. He, he has all that tech. <laughs> right. The technology. Oh, the technology. Just go up there and go for the up smash. Paolo's love to go for an arrow, usually out of the ledge. So it's pretty good to catch that. For Jump City, he kind of has to respect fu uh, his landings, especially on Fujin. Because if he doesn't do them properly, he will suffer the consequences. So he has to kind of like make sure, okay, if I'm going to go for the line, I have to go for the right one. Back air, really good way to challenge Zelda. Zelda usually, when she's off stage going for aerials, she might be going for either the recovery, forward air at times because it's so strong, or might be going for an air. Right. Ooh, oh, man, the snipe from the below. Fire. All right. <laughs> I like that Rondo option. Fair, but I, I, have, I catches the jump to another I like, fair. I like it, but the thing for jump city right is I have invincibility, so I can just go for that. Right. Ooh. I respect the counter, yes. but it wasn't going to work the way he thought it would. And it actually would have done double damage to Zelda, especially sending the yeah, night that back. That was pressure to make him shield. That was, yeah. That was all great. See, and see the, in Smash Four, she had that, but it wasn't as It as wasn't strong. as good, yeah. it wasn't. There wasn't like a delay where you can just combo off and go for a grab. Or force your opponent to hold shield. Back then, they just like, oh. Now it has versatility yeah. in this game. Down throw, our bear. No. The one for Fuji. Been short hop. Yeah. So Even if he short hop it, I feel like it wouldn't have hit. Uh, so for, for your Fujin, because the way he was able to just DM stuff away from it. Ooh, I like nice. This. Goes for an aerial. At that point, Jump City knows, like, if I avoid the knight, Ooh, he has great. nothing Catches else. Catches the jump. <laughs> With the up smash. You know what would be funny? If, you know how you saw the the star animation there? If you break the glass in the background. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be cool. Great. Nair. Okay. Man. Jump steady. Oh, uh, no. Great. Neutral get up. Oh. He was doing and great. As I say that. The problem is he neutral get up. But I feel like he had gotten conditioned to not go for an aerial because the way Fujin called it out. Down throw into neutral air. Usually... Nice. Gets rid of the knight with a neutral and the and the yeah. jab. He went for the the Zelda special. I'll be on stage. He's not gonna expect it. Jump City got crossed up there, but I would have loved to have seen back air instead of neutral air. Yep. Because he got crossed up back air. For him, back air is gonna be I'll doing go most air. of the work. Nice. Simply go for jump read? No. Oh, no. <laughs> like I said, but he's gonna be going for back air most of the time because he has intangibility with back air from Palutena's shield, and Zelda loves to go for Nehru's love simply because. Oh, yeah. You're, you're, you're done. Nice. You're done. Zelda loves to go for Nehru's love because that's one of her, like, neutral tools. It's got multi-hits. It's literally has super armor, so you're able to go through it. For Jump City, he's able to trade that because Palutena's back air is much more versatile and stronger than uh, Nehru's love. Right. So for him, that's going to be the move he's putting into over, over time, for sure. And that's why he did it a couple times there, especially off the stage. And I see Fujin really limited. You know how Zelda's usually in the air? Yeah. When you're playing Palutena, she she limits that. Yeah, so it, the air-to-air -air is not in your favor. You're going to have to play her more grounded mm. and win more neutral situations that way. Should I still approach with Nair or occasionally go for approaching with Nair's uh, love? They zero usually suit. He's, he's confident. Yeah, he's, he's feeling he confident. zero suit. <laughs> Maybe it's a comfort pick. I don't know. It could be the fact that you're able to just move around Zelda all together and overwhelm her while she tries to go for a setup. Zelda is fundamentally his owner. So you're able to just yep. go around her movement, right? You're able to trade that way, go across up. And but Fusion's no slouch. Actually breaks zones really well. <laughs> yeah. On top of that, she anti-airs also. Zone breaker, really, really good. Well. <laughs> zone breaker, good anti-air, really good at with punishing. Solid punish game, but I mean, Jump City has a little bit of a failure to launch here as Fujin just kind of 
goes all over this man. Oh, smash. Yeah. Oh, watch the recovery yep. there yep. because that hit will kill. That, that, Zelda doing up beyond stage is one of those things where, oh, he's not going to do it again. It's so dumb. He's not going to do it again. Yeah. But he does it again, and it works. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's the mind game. So I'm going to need for Jelani to punish these so he can uh, stop Fujin from doing it. Up throw. Yep, you're gone at that percent. Nice. All right, tech chase. Oh, no, I saw it. Oh, he, he didn't get it. He again. didn't get it, but at that point, he, like, he, cover, he covered rolling. Yeah. Back throw. Back throw. Wait for the commitment here, because Fujin exhausted his double jump already, and he has to go for the up B. Nice jump. Okay. How's he gonna catch this? Fujin charged it just a second more, probably because of uh, sniping the ledge. Ooh, that's interesting. Delma would didn't catch Nairi's left. Oh, who wanted the ledge jump? Solid option though from Jumpsy because he knows he's been going for those uppies, and he feels comfortable. Ooh, yeah. Flip kick. Go, go over that, the. That's the jump steady right that's, there. That's what I'm talking about because he's <laughs> able to go over all of those options. Like if he's gonna go for the setup, you have time to zone break. You see that right there? Mm -hmm. You saw those short hops in neutral from Zolani or Jump Steady. He was um, doing that so he could stop Fujin from jumping again and keep him more grounded. Yeah. It's like a, oh, if you do this, I'm gonna punish you with a uh, fair up air. Oh, wait for the landing here. Good opportunity, gets the dash tag. Really quick option, back, back throw. throw. Okay. He doesn't, he's not really going for much of a setup there with back throw just yet because he knows Fujin is gonna exhaust the little double jump. He's gonna go for up B like he did the last time. Yeah. So all he has to do is catch the landing more ledge. for ledge traps, mm -hmm. but if exactly. he does get something off back throw, like he'll, to capitalize it. He's right. moving to the percent where back throw, he can probably get something off of it. Back air. Nice. Jump City brought this back. Slowly. Fair. Right, down tilt. Fair down tilt. Oh, fair. carry nice. this man to the other side. 42%. That would have been it. Yeah. I jump. Wait for the ledge landing here. Right. And you can see. Um, He's looking for a punish too. Fujin's not doing a beyond stage anymore. Yeah. Oh, he, he, he <laughs> tried to say, say he does it again. He tried it so hard. Huh? He tried so hard with it too because he knew that it might have worked, but at this point, he's kind of conditioned off to go. Alright. Jumps over the reflection. Mm -hmm. How's he gonna catch the ledge? Get up, jump. For jump steady, he's just taking a sweet time. Oh, sorry, mage. I mean, he doesn't have to worry about overcoming it anymore. If he has to play the lane game at this point, four minutes on the clock, he has all the momentum. Oh, tries to go for a Ooh, setup there, but immediately he back already. air. Twenty percent. These rack up. Yeah, they will slowly. Jump steady can't. <laughs> All right, he's looking for a safe poke. He's looking for a safe poke in neutral. He can expand on it. Oh, that was good because he knew See? he might have been going for Nero's love. He knew that. He yeah. baited that. <laughs> he wanted he wanted him to go for Nero's love, so he had enough time to go all the way across the stage. Wait, wait for, there oh, it is. this would be it. Yeah. A B. And nope. That's not it. Watch the landing here. Uh, he might be going. There uh, it is. Yeah. That should be it. It's good because he knows right, he wants to get a grab. Steady. Yep. Keep him at bay. Basically. I don't know how well Zare is for Zare suit in this game. Do you know if it's any? So worse what they or did better? for a lot of the Zares and Tethers is they are still really, really good in this game. The thing is, the animation has changed. Back then, it's more of the way it was in Melee, where it just like flops around. Right. Of course, the Smash Four. So it's still got that same hitbox. It's not as fast as it used to be, though. So it's still a good tool in the neutral to approach with. But you have to be careful with it. Sometimes just waiting for your opponent to preemptively hold shield right. is much better. So now we have Mage of Symphonia versus... Now just Mage. Or just Mage?